What's up, YouTube? This is going to be your guide how to get all the Gala roaming birds in the Crown Tundra DLC. So, firstly, we're going to start with Articuno. Now, when the birds appear, well, the Articuno appears, you'll see a shadow. This appears all over the Crown Tundra. I just went to the icy area and just rode up here. Now, each one is different how they uh, sort of like perform and how you uh, go about getting them. So, what you do, once you find the Articuno, it'll be flying just above in the air. There'll be a shadow of it. So just keep following it. You'll just be able to easily follow it with the shadow. And it will eventually land. And that's where you want to trap it and actually capture it. Now, before it lands, it'll actually do something specific. So it'll actually uh, mimic itself. And there'll be three of them. So here I first found it in the icy area here. And it sort of just flew across this bit. And I was like, okay, I, I missed it, right? But then it went down and landed. So or it sort of it didn't actually land. It sort of hovered. So you can see it's sort of hovering there. Now we're going to be going and going to get that, right? Now what it'll do is when you get close to it, I suggest you actually save the game here. So like right here, just go ahead and, and, and save your game. You can see it's hovering there. So just go ahead and save. And if you do mess this up, you'll be back at that point and Articuno will still be there, right? So it's going to be, uh, we're looking for the one that actually waves its wings. So as you'll, you'll be able to see that as I get closer to it, right? So how, see how it's mimicked right there? See the one waving its wings? That's the one you want to keep your eye on. And then you want to go up to that one and obviously, you know, under it and uh, click on it, right? So that's what you want to do. Um, it'll fly up in there above you and then it'll just dive back down onto you. And uh, yeah, that'll be the Articuno encounter. But yeah, we Actually, even before it mimics, you can get quite close to it and save, and that's probably what I would do uh, to get this one. It can be a little bit tedious to make it, like, for wait for it to actually spawn, so uh, make sure you wait for it to spawn, and just keep going up and down uh, the area. Um, and usually, for me, it spawns at the start, so once you don't see it really at the first start of that icy sort of strip there, just uh, just reset it on, and just fly back to that location and uh, do that. That's that's what I did, and I got it pretty quick there. I got it, I got it on the... Probably about two minutes after going there, and then probably about 10 minutes after that, right? So there you go. Uh, it's got the, uh, it's going to be hailing constantly. So you have to watch out for the hail damage too. Even if you use like Sunny Day or something like that, the hail will come back. Eventually, I, uh, you know, caught the, uh, the Articuno Gala in a timer ball. That's what I use for all three of the birds as well. Now, I also did a reggae guide on how to get all the reggae. So I uploaded that one a little bit earlier. So if you want to go about getting know about how to get those ones, um, I've already put that on my channel. You can check that out there just by going to uh, my YouTube channel. And yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's how you get the Articuno. We're going to be moving on to the next Pokemon, and that is going to be Zapdos. We'll register it in the Pokedex first. So there, it's registered, and you can see the little spiel about its Pokedex and stuff there too. So I mean, that's that's kind. Oh, nice, probably my favorite bird. So the next one, we're going to be going back to the wild area in the normal game. So each of these birds are found in three different locations in the Isle of Armor, Crown Tundra, and in the wild area. Now, first, when I went to the entrance, I seen the Zapdos. It's actually like Roadrunner. You actually have to get on your bike and, you know, you want to have your bike fully maxed out and you got to ride after it, right? You actually have to sprint after it on your bike. Now, we'll do little uh, pauses here. We'll actually stop. Then that'll be your chance to actually corner it and catch it. All you got to do is ride into it and the battle will commence right so obviously as soon as you see it hit that save button and as soon as you, maybe if you get close to it hit that save button as well so just keep following it and uh, you want to go to you want to go to the very uh, bottom wild era that's where i found it. and it's the easiest place to just reset for it as well so see how it sort of like slows down it'll go really really fast and then it'll slow down when it slows down is where you want to catch it up. Now, the best way I found to get this thing is you eventually got to try and cut it off. So it will do random pathing like it just did then. Like it's running up behind that building there. Um, so what you can do is just keep going to left and try and cut it off. You'll make up a bit of ground there eventually. It might be a little bit tedious to try and you know catch up to it, but you will eventually get up to it. Uh, just make sure you avoid any Pokemon in the area. They'll sort of like uh, slow your progress down so i eventually got up to it and caught up to it around here there was uh one little oddish encounter here which i didn't see which i just sort of fast forwarded and it sort of ran out of steam and i eventually uh you know caught up to it. see right here would be a good save you could save it right there just behind it if you're quick enough and uh here's the uh wild zapdos so this is our second uh galar bird here um, I've got my I've got my Carax form here, so I'm just going to be using that. And now this, once again, this can be done any part of the game. You don't have to do it at the start. I actually did this, uh, you know, kind of early on, like the Reggies too. But uh, you can do it sort of any time to get the roaming birds. But yeah, there's the Zapdos, and the last one was the Moltres. Now the Moltres one, I'd say, was the most tedious out of all of them. 
Um, this one took a little bit of time. So let's have a quick look at the Zapdos's data. Um, I'm not going to go through and show you like all the stats and stuff, but there's this little sort of thing there. So the last one we're going to be looking for, we're going to be going to the Isle of Armor now, is the Gala Moltres. Now this one's a little bit different again. So the first one we had like Mimics, and the second one we had to basically have to chase. This one actually uh, spawns in and it flies around the entire island. So what you want to do is you want to save right here in front of the dojo, and it'll spawn there, right? And what it'll be doing is actually doing laps around the the whole sort of Isle of Arms. So when I first seen it, I was like, okay, I gotta sort of like ride after it, right? Now, the problem about this is you need to actually whistle to it to uh, make it go down to you. Now, it's actually flying very, very fast, and there is, as I found out, there was no real way you could actually catch up to it um, on your bike, even if you went around the whole island. Like, uh, I went around half it. And then I sort of lost track of it when I got to here. And then there's a, you know, there's a lot of things. You'd across this lake section too, which is kind of a pain. And it sort of like gets away from you. So what I would suggest, I'm not sure if anyone actually um, got it to you know, catch up to it. I found that it just kept like flying away from me. So there's no point actually chasing it. It was better actually resetting. I just want to show you what happens though, uh, you know, when you try and chase it. It'll do like this full lap thing. I think it's just a full like lap around the Isle of Armor too, which is going to kind of, uh, you know, be almost impossible to chase right. So it's out of sight now. I don't know where it is. It, I think it's just over on that. See, it's over on that little island there. And then I think it, I might as well go back to the Isle of Armor and just go back to the gym area, uh, the, sorry, the dojo, and then what you can do, right, is you just save in front of that, and then just, like, reset it, and then the weather got really bad, too, and I was like, okay, so, yeah, so, after you've saved, just, uh, I did save initially at the start, make sure you do save, um, you know, in the uh, Isle of Armor, just, the, I don't know where the door thing is, and just go back into your game, and you'll be there already. Now, what you want to do, right, is you probably want to make sure you're, you're underneath the Moltres, right, so you want to make sure it flies above you, and then you can whistle at it, right, so the best place to be, it, I noticed that it flew over the garden, area it also went over the bridge area too at the start so they're the places you want to be and then make sure there's no pokemon below you too that like run into um i think there's a annoying crabby there that can run like this crabby this is where i kind of waited where this crabby was like away. and uh, as you can see it's flying in from the right there and it is going to fly over the garden area and then it does fly towards you so you want to hit that whistle button and whistle to it it does hover and it will come down to you and you know that's how you go about getting the uh moltres encounter there so just keep whistling at it and it will go go into the battle. It can be a little bit tedious, but just don't try and chase it because you'll be wasting your time, pretty much. Um, I found that anyway. I'm not sure if you actually can catch up to it. Uh, you might be able to. You have to hit it You have to hit it very early on. So, Moltres was uh, quite an interesting Pokemon. I noticed a lot of these are good special attackers as well. Once again, I just use Time Balls for all this. You can use... Um, you probably got much better stuff to use than I did at this point. So, I just spammed uh, Quick Ball at the start. Don't Quick Ball all of them at the start if you just do want to catch it. And then you can sort of like use the timer ball and things like that. But there's its signature move too. Looks really, really cool. Um, actually, it could be my second favorite out of the birds there. Um, do watch it. Can actually confuse itself and hit itself in confusion as well. So you want to make sure you've saved and stuff as you have to do it again. Which is a like really, really big pain in the bum. So just keep going for time balls. Time balls stack over a long period of time, which is uh, quite handy. So uh, yeah. Or if you want to go for a different ball, like a Pokeball or something like that, you can do that too. But they do have a very low catch rate. So... Yeah, you'll be uh, you'll be catching for quite a while. So this uh, that's pretty much uh, it. How to capture all the uh, legendary birds or Galar birds. And yeah, I hope this video did help you out. That's all three of them. So that's all the reggies. I've done all the reggies on my channel too. So if you want to check that, that's the uh, video I uploaded before this. So. That's all the reggies, and uh, this is all the Galar birds. After this, I'm going to be doing some battles and stuff like that. I'll be getting on to some theme teams and Pokemon sweeps. I just wanted to cover these couple of little basic guides there if people were struggling to actually get that. And yeah, there's the uh, Moltres' little spiel about it. And we're just going to add it to the party. I'll show you, uh, I can show what they look like in the party. So there's all the birds, there's the Calrex, and there's the, uh, you know, Reggy Lecky there. At this stage, I was actually tr still trying to find Dragonite as well uh, in the overworld. But there's the, uh, there's the Zapdos. Let's look at the Zapdos in the overworld too. It just looks like a big, a, a big chicken. And then obviously after you've done that, you can go back to Peony and that'll actually mark the mission off as complete as well. You have to do the same thing with the Reggies too. And that's pretty much it. It does a little Naruto run there. All right, people. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll catch you for some theme teams and some Pokemon sweeps. I'm not sure which one will be first, but hopefully they'll be soon. All right. Okay. Peace out, people.